In 2021, CSEC exams of all the sciences offered, chemistry had the least number of passes, with only 63% of students who sat the exam getting at least a grade 3. So today I sit down with Alexis Leo to find out how she not only passed, but also topped the Caribbean in the exam. So what was your reaction when you found out that you ranked in the Caribbean? To be honest, like, I, I was pretty surprised. I was pretty shocked. Like, I knew I prepared hard for my chem exam, but I had no idea that I would, like, do well enough to, like, even place in the top 10. Like, it came to me as, like, such a big surprise. I was really happy, but, like, I was more, like, overwhelmed with shock. <laughs> do you have a similar method of preparing for internal exams at when you were at Immaculate? I guess I can say that. I think when I was doing internal exams, I wouldn't have as much pressure on myself, and so I probably wouldn't study um, for the lengthy duration that I did for CSEC exams. Um, yeah. But I did, I do normally have a schedule um, planned out and just um, the way that I wrote my notes is very similar for what I did for CSEC. What are some challenges that you faced while preparing for these exams and how did you overcome them? Well, I mean, there was quarantine, there was isolation and being isolated for that long kind of um, like hit my motivation levels quite severely. I was pretty um, uninspired, I guess, demotivated to keep working because I wasn't really going out and having those like active break sessions that I would normally have. Um, just being in the same space with the same books and the anxiety really um, was a big hurdle for me to jump over like every day constantly trying to fight with myself to study. Um, but I think just um, doing devotion every day, doing the things I do in my regular routine really helped me stay calm and focus and on whatever I had to do for that day. For a few of my classes, we didn't finish the syllabus and that gave me a lot of anxiety. But I think using the online resources that I had provided by my teachers or things that I found independently it really helped me um complete what I, I ever whatever I had to do um understand everything um I mean I I do as I'm very fortunate to have um these sources um so easily accessible um so I think that's why it was so easy for me to um I guess overcome those challenges so you basically had to teach yourself during the um the COVID period Yes, essentially. <laughs> so how do you balance school and social life? Mm, I think scheduling is very important. Um, mm -hmm. Creating time blocks for yourself. Prioritizing rest is a really big thing for me. Um, I think, I guess, treating um, going out or doing anything, I guess, not considered productive as like a reward. So I kind of work towards it. Um, I guess making internal deadlines for myself. So um, just in case um, I have a deadline that I can't meet because of other engagements or activities, I just do it on my own time, pace myself um, and really balance the two. So yeah. <laughs> Why did you choose to study the sciences? I just naturally gravitate towards science, something that's pretty, I guess, objective, um, deals with a lot of calculations, observations. I never found myself drawn to any other, I guess, field of study. So it was pretty much my only option, but thankfully I've grown to really like science. So I guess it worked out for me. So what are you currently studying if you're not at Immaculate No. Well, right now I'm doing the IB program, which is an international program that covers a bunch of different areas of study, um, incorporates like a lot of extracurricular um, activities. Um, it's a very holistic approach to learning, um, very internationally minded, I guess, um, which I really appreciate. And I find myself 
I guess, more enjoying than the curriculum at Immaculate. So I'm very happy doing the Ivy program right now. So what are your plans after completing this Ivy program? I plan to go to college, um, which many students um, plan to do right after um, sixth form. Um, my major, I'm not really sure. Definitely something in STEM. Um, I'm not really sure what specifically. I'm just allowing myself to just explore different disciplines and fields when I get to college and kind of make my decision there, kind of focus on my academics now, um, maintain a GPA, and then afterwards, I just plan to, I guess, investigate all fields of science and truly explore. And what is one piece of advice you would give to someone who is sitting CSEC exams this year? I think I'd like to offer students sitting um, their CXCs to stay calm, which is something really hard to do. I think students taking exams should prioritize rest. I do think it's good to be disciplined and work as much as you can, but it is so important to make sure you're taking care of your mental health in ways like sleeping, drinking water, <laughs> talking to people, anything that's not really considered I guess conducive to doing well in your exams. I mean, I guess on the superficial level, I think resting is so important because it kind of allows your mind to charge up again so you can properly handle the content, um, but in a very time efficient way, not necessarily just like resting as much as you can, but um, making that a, a top, Thing for you while studying. Thank you Alexis for joining me and thank you guys for watching. If you would like to make the merit list for every CXC subject you will do, ensure to watch this video.